information tonight. Court records reveal more about what led to that shooting at Castleton Square Mall on Friday. CBS 4's Jesse Wells explains why the 18 year old wounded in the shooting was quickly arrested. According to this affidavit, Curtis Wilson was walking into the mall with his brother when they got into a dispute with three strangers at the south entrance here behind me. Surveillance video then showed Wilson grab his brother's gun and start shooting at the other men who returned fire. A shopping trip to Castleton Square Mall to return shoes to Foot Locker turned violent Friday afternoon when police say Curtis Wilson was shot in the thigh. Court records claim Wilson began yelling at three other male shoppers, snatched a gun from his brother, then followed the men to the entrance and began shooting. That exchange resulted in Wilson being shot and arrested. I didn't necessarily think deja vu. I thought, well, what do you expect to happen? Friday's shooting took place just over six weeks after a 16 year old was killed and Eddie Smith Sr.'s son was wounded in the mall parking lot in January. If it's okay to shoot in one instance and absolutely nothing happens and it falls off the radar, well, what do you expect? Malls are going to start turning into the OK Corral. While police made a quick arrest in Friday's shooting, Eddie's family is still waiting for justice. It's aggravating that this particular case has been caught up in political maneuvering. These records show a special prosecutor from Madison County has been appointed to decide if criminal charges should be filed in the homicide after prosecutor Ryan Mears stepped aside because of a conflict of interest involving that shooter. I'm not happy that it seems like the buck is being passed. I'm not happy with the way this case has been handled at all. As for Wilson's arrest, according to the affidavit, police found a handgun next to Wilson on scene. The three other men involved in the shooting Friday all ran away, but left their Jeep SUV in the mall parking lot, which was secured by police. Finally, Wilson is being held on preliminary charges of criminal recklessness. There is no timeline for a charging decision in the January homicide. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News. Jesse, thank you.